Good morning, guys. This is Mr. Harris, and this is Triangles and Proportional Segment. Some Gregorian chant instead of the theme from our friends Johnny Knoxville and company. It's a little different this morning. Got to have some balance. So the Y... Here's again finding patterns. And doing it in an a not an abstract way. That would be not reality not the reality that you know. I mean, this is kind of, this is definitely abstract. Okay, and that'll help you find patterns in reality. It's like a puzzle game. Build those synapses. Be a better thinker. All right, so, let me zoom out here a little bit so you can see this picture. I'm going to do a couple of these. RT. RT right here. So the little piece to the big piece is the same as what to W. The V. In number three, M to what is the same as R to T? Well, hopefully you can look at the picture and see the pattern. R to T, little to the whole thing, is be little to the whole thing to the BP. Okay? And I'll leave you guys to, to pick up the rest here. Over here, it says, this time it gives us uh, measurement. So it says, R is... R is 5, S is 8, so if that's the case, I can find T, so I'm going to do, you know, what the hard part, air quotes, the hard part is here, so I'm going to add those together and get T is 13, I'm just going to line it up, R is 5, T is 13, 5 is prime, does not go into 13. Uh, so, same kind of thing, we kind of did it in the first four here, we do have short to the whole thing, and that's what you get with the parallel sides. So, uh, VW would be, five to 13. 